Tom and Jerry is a famous cartoon show. But do you know what is the concept behind the story? Well, you always see Tom looking at Jerry as its dish. And then you see Spike, the bulldog, looking at Tom as its dish. Yes, this is what we call the food chain. So let's learn what is food chain. Hi, I'm Manu, your Vista tutor and welcome to Vista Learning. So what is the food chain? You have the word chain in it. So what does a chain look like? It has many small links connected to one another. Now coming to food chain, it's not metals that are connected, but it's the food. To understand this process much better, we can categorize organisms into three categories. They are producers, consumers and decomposers. The food chain starts with plants, but why? Because plants are the producers of food. Plants get their energy from sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air. Can you see how the minerals and water from the soil are making the plants grow? This process is called photosynthesis and because plants produce their own food, they are known as producers. So first we have the producers and then comes the consumers. So children, who eats only plants? These animals are called herbivores and to name a few, cow, panda, sheep and squirrel. Can you guess what happens next? Lions, crocodiles and foxes feed on the herbivores for food and energy. The animals which consume meat of other animals are known as carnivores. But there are animals which eat both plants as well as other animals and these we call as omnivores such as chimpanzees, bears and chicken. So there are three kinds of consumers, herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Okay, now let's come to the last process of our food chain which is that of the decomposers. So when a lion or a fox dies, they decompose in the soil and become manure and nutrients for the plants to grow. So plants become food for the first consumers, the first consumers in turn become food to the second and so on. So when the last consumer dies, they will decompose in the soil and become nutrients and manure for the plants to grow. So all these are interconnected and this is called the food chain. Next time you see an animal, try to recognize which role it plays in the food chain. For more such videos, stay tuned to Vista's Learning and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon.